It's a, it's a pretty fun game. Definitely made better with those dual stage triggers and some smooth gyro and smooth mouse movement. Alrighty, hello there. It's been a little while since I've done a Steam controller profile overview, uh, but here we are. I actually was hoping I wouldn't have to do it for this game, but, uh, it's being a pain in the ass. So, yeah, this is a Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Now, the reason I had to make this profile is because this is one of those games that will not allow controller and mouse input at the same time, which is effing bullshit. So, yeah, like, if I had this set to analog, I could not move... I couldn't move and look with the mouse at the same time. And this is one in particular where I want I want that smooth mouse movement. It's so much smoother and so much quicker, plus you can get the, the gyro mouse. So to that end I had to bind in all of the all of the uh, keyboard bindings, which was kind of a pain in the ass. The only thing I didn't do it was do it on was for the uh, d-pad i did put an inner binding of shift so you have a slow walk forward and then the full run on the, the triggers are dual stage so we have this is a uh, it's combat shift for a light squeeze and full squeeze is heavy attack and then same on the left light squeeze is down motion, full squeeze is light attack. So you got your attacks on the trigger. I like that makes it much more responsive. The map I found was easier to use. Like this game's clearly designed for analog controller. So on the map we have an action set. I'm gonna go to map and then you can see it pulled up map. So right now we have full, this is just a basic 360 controller binding. So you can use the triggers to zoom in, zoom out. Now the only thing with this is say I fast traveled, then I wouldn't have hit. Uh, well actually, yeah, I can, let's use the keyboard to hit tab. So now I'm still in that map set, which is, ugh. It's all the controller mappings. It's so, I didn't, yeah, even trying to get mouse joystick, I did not like it with this game. So really, it seems like for the movement, I'm just missing that real slow because I don't have the analog movement. But this is an example where I can show you. So this is analog right now. We bring in the mouse. So we're looking around. If I push forward, you see that? No responsiveness at all. The mouse is just completely locked off until you let go of the controller then it gives it back to you. Boy, do I hate that. So let me go back into my map. So we're fussing around with the map, whatever, then we hit select. Took us back to our default set. Uh, and then also for combat, I put that shift, which is the trigger, to the paddle. I think I did that maybe... I think I got into that from Dark Souls 3 using that the dodge so much I had it down there so when you're fighting you can paddle I guess it's gonna that's really the only time I use it is during combat like a quick dodge and then hit dodge hit whatever I mean it doesn't have to be crazy complicated I just wanted to show I wanted to show this one off because this was an example of kind of being forced to cater something in a way I didn't really want to, just because they won't let me have mouse and joystick inputs at the same time. But yeah, I find with the mouse, mouse smoothing though, it's a lot better than the mouse joystick or analog stick. So I wanted the benefits of the fast mouse and the gyro mouse. Everything else I tried to mimic their controls as much as possible. Yeah, I didn't really want to fuss around with it too much, just those dual stage triggers, which that's like second nature to me. I love that. It makes so much more sense than having to take off the camera to fight. 
I can just keep fighting. Same with that's kind of why why Mirror's Edge put the jump, jump and crouch. You know, so you don't have to take your thumbs off of the movement and camera. Well, now that same thing applies to combat. Uh, I just I would also point out that you know, as an origin game, it can be a little fussy. You always want to make sure that the Steam overlay is functional. Uh, you, and you'll see, like, in the right-hand corner, as the game boots up, it would show you, like, a little picture of your controller. Um, but yeah, I've had that glitch out a couple of times. Which, that, no big deal. It's just Origin being Origin. You should find this one. Yeah, I just put this up last night. You know, and you just need to add Mirror's Edge Catalyst as a non-Steam game, and it should show up. So, that is pretty much it. I think uh, I'm going to get back to parkouring it up. I just had, I had to find an inside area because I happen to be at a point right now in the game where it's nighttime. Because, of course. Oh! They can make it perfect through software. As really, I mean, that's what I'm going to say. Butt crawl. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Okay. Yes, you get it. <clears throat> yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> oh.